Our guys really handled the, the end of game situation well. Their composure and their execution was great. They can learn a lot from that. These close games, you can really watch the film and study things and see where you can get better. Casey, Casey passed on the, the sore throat to you? It's a, it's a Raptor coaching tradition. You got to lose your, lose your voice on the first day. With the guys that you've had um, for a year now, what are you looking for for them in terms of progression when they come down here? Is it maturity? Is it specific skills? What are you looking for from those guys? It's both. I mean, I think it's leadership first and foremost, right? So Fred and his leadership at the point guard and kind of leading our team this year. Pascal being a leader on the court and finding ways for him to do that, and you saw that today, commanding the ball and doing something with it. That's a real growth for him as a, as a mature basketball player. And then Jakob, I think, is really needs to find his own more a little bit too, find his voice more because his skills are there. As he increases his voice, you know, he'll become more of a factor in terms of leading our team. From the other guys that you saw out there, was there anything you needed to see more of or who at least uh, played to the way you wanted them to? You know what, I think, I think Troy played really well for us, our backup point guard. He kind of came in and we played him and Fred together, and that was good minutes for him. Uh, I think McKinney played well for us too. I think he's someone we're really intrigued with and want to see what he can do. And you can see if he gets his three-point shot going, his size, athleticism is a real asset. So he's someone we're really lo like looking forward to, and I thought he showed well today.